coming your way on Wolverine Sports Magazine. The Fab Five reunites at Chrysler Center. We'll preview Michigan MSU Hockey Weekend and we'll show you a record-setting gymnastics performance. That and much more is on the way next. Wolverine Sports Magazine is presented by Meyer. Hi everybody, it's been a chilly, chilly week in Ann Arbor. Temperatures in the single digits and at night even dipping below zero. But what happened here at Chrysler Center Monday afternoon simply warmed the insides. The Wolverine basketball team snapped its five game losing streak with a 73-65 win over rival Ohio State. The side story, and it was a huge one, the Fab Five reuniting courtside for the first time in 30 years. The guys received a huge ovation and shared with us how this special day came together. It's an amazing um, reunion. Um, for those that don't know, this is the first time in 30 years that each member of the Fab Five have been in Chrysler Arena at the same time. And to be honest with you, I can't help but just look back at, was it maybe 12 weeks ago, where our leader, head coach Jawan Howard, was in an Ann Arbor hospital, laying on a gurney, having open heart surgery. And I just remember taking a red eye and his wife and loved ones was there, Howard Isley, assistant coach was there. And typical Jawan, they were like, okay, Mr. Her uh, Howard, it's time for surgery. And he looking around the room and he asked me and my all right. I said, you're the human being on the gurney. Are you all right? And at that moment, I left the hospital and I called Macy Elwood Christopher Weber. And I said, can we connect and get on the same page? Because us not seeing eye to eye, it just, it's just a disservice for so many reasons. And fortunately that we were able to break bread, and get on the same page, and 30 years later, here we are. The emotions being back here with your guys watching this game today. Joy, uh, you know, just joy, just uh, sitting there with the fellas laughing and reminiscing and, you know, uh, seeing the crowd, the students, you know, feeling that energy, it, w it was awesome. When you walk in this building again, just what kind of emotion does it stir up? Joy, joy, these were some great times, very few, uh, whether champion or not, can say that they experienced what we experienced here at the University of Michigan and the joy that we brought to fans. So to me, it's uh, just reminiscent of joy and a, a lot of uh, practical jokes that I think I owe the guys from years past that I started to remember as I'm walking through the halls. Back to the ball game, the Wolverines played really well against the Buckeyes. Olivier Kamwa led the way with 20 points as Michigan built a 12-point second-half lead. OSU shouted back, though, with a 16-0 run, leapfrogging on top 59-55. Late in the game, the Maize and Blue post a 7-0 run to take control. 3.37 to go, Terrence Williams the second with three of his 18 to put him up for good, 63-61. The eight point win, a much needed lift for the club. Our effort finally bears some fruit and you know, get past some of these struggles and finally get back on the other side of the win column. Looked like you guys were in command, but they had that big 16-0 run. How'd you guys keep it together when in previous occasions it didn't always go this way for you? You know, just emphasis on the fact that it's, it's a game of runs and we have to learn and grow in the area of not putting our heads down and not feeling defeated when the other team make runs because it is a game of runs and, you know, everything isn't going to go our way the whole time and that's been a big focus for us all year, especially in, during this stretch. Man, it feels great, um, especially applying everything we work on over the last few days and practices, honestly, over the last few weeks and um, doing it tonight, with the conscious effort to put it together for 40 minutes, that's what led to the win. So I'm happy to be back in the win column and um, look forward to continuing this trajectory. Later in the show, we'll take you inside the locker room to hear what the Fab Five had to say to the players. Wolverine Sports Magazine is presented by Meyer and brought to you in part by Al Rose Steel, by Abso Pure Water, 
and by Grand Traverse Resort. Now to the ice, Gavin Brindley led the nation in scoring last week after returning from his World Juniors gold medal trip to Sweden. The sophomore scored five goals and added two assists as Michigan swept Stonehill at Yost Arena, scoring 19 goals in the process. Brindley tallied four goals Friday, while Marcus Stapa had his first career three-point game on Saturday, picking up a pair of goals and an assist on his 22nd birthday to boot. A perfect way to get back into the season, and this weekend, they get back into Big Ten play, a home-and-home -home series against top 10 Michigan State, in East Lansing Friday, and then home at Yost on Saturday. The Wolverines and Spartans renew college hockey's most recurrent rivalry with great anticipation. These will be the 343rd and 344th meetings between the two. This is why you come to Michigan. Um, you know, even for me, like growing up as a kid, uh, being a Michigan fan, like that's been a rival in our household for you know my whole life. So, um, you know, it seems to get better every single year. Oh my God, it's it's crazy! Like all the way up, like this whole week, the build up and everything has just been like, uh, we hate green, and it's just like they hate us. It's just a it's a really cool experience to be a part of, and just can't wait for the weekend. Always Michigan for you growing up? Yeah, I know. I've always been like a, a Michigan fan. It's always been my school, like a, a dream school for me. So it's really cool to be a part of it. Head coach Brandon Narado says a focused intensity after their long December break has been the stated strategy. We've kind of looked at since January 1 and the guys coming back, even before the World Junior guys got back, of like one big long training camp heading into MSU and uh, the rest of the Big Ten schedule for the second half. and. I feel like we're in a really good spot and just getting healthy and, uh, and getting back to our identity and our game and, and knowing what we need to do to have success. In past years, the two programs played very different styles, but MSU's resurgence has proctored a new phase in the rivalry. That team is very similar to, to us in style of play. I think both teams are one and two in all the uh, advanced data and analytics and offensive categories. and. Um, you know, it'll probably be a really low scoring game, but uh, we're just worried about ourselves. And then the talks on managing our emotions and controlling the game will come on game day. Emotions, the last time they played in East Lansing, 11 and a half months ago, the two teams combined for 105 penalty minutes. MSU is undefeated at Munn so far this season. I mean, it's fun, you know, you know you're not gonna get any fans on your side there. So, um, you know, they'll be, They'll be yelling at us, but you kind of just got to tone it out and, you know, stick to our game and, um, you know, if not, let it motivate you and fire you up. We respect our opponents and we know what they're great at. We know some areas that maybe we can expose them, but it's, it's, it's always about us. It's always about us and doing it the right way and doing it the hard way. Um, and if we do that, you have a chance against anybody. We've got to find ways to, to take a team that's really good and, and make them look average and that's on us. Both games are set to face off at 7 o'clock. Women's basketball ended a two-game slide last Saturday at home when they took out Wisconsin. The Wolverines were active on defense, forcing 28 Badger turnovers and completely dominating on the way to a 76-52 win. Layla Filia led the way with 17 points, while Chicago native Cameron Williams picked up her second double-double of the season, posting 16 points and 10 rebounds and new Baltimore grad student Taylor Williams chipped in with 13 points off the bench for the home team. Wednesday was a night to forget in Lincoln, Nebraska for the Wolverines, who found themselves trailing 17-3 in the first quarter. Michigan battled back to cut the Husker lead to just four points early in the second half, but that was as close as they got. Lauren Hansen was Michigan's lone double-digit scorer, finishing with 13. A cold shooting night cost the Wolverines, who dropped a 62-43 contest. Their Big Ten record now dips to 3-3. Three and three. Huge weekend for the 12th ranked wrestling team. A pair of home matches, both right here at Chrysler. First, Friday at 6 o'clock against number one Penn State. The first 2,500 fans in attendance receive a free rally towel. And then Sunday at 1 o'clock against number 13 Rutgers. The Wolverines kicked off Big Ten dual competition last Friday at Maryland, where they won nine individual bouts and earned bonus points in five matches to beat the overmatched Terrapins 38-3. K-12 
Cameron Amin at 165 and Lucas Davison at heavyweight earned falls, while freshman Sergio Lemley at 141 and Michael Diagostino at 125 both scored technical falls. Sunday, Michigan welcomed MSU to Chrysler for its home opener. The Mason Blue took seven matches, earning bonus points in four and cruising to a 29-12 win over the Spartans. Grad student Austin Gomez was dialed in, earning a first period pin at 149. While 133-pounder Dylan Ragason, who came out of redshirt this season, 2021 national champ Shane Griffith at 174, and Davison also earned bonus point victories. I was excited to see guys really getting after great effort on trying to get bonus points, and uh, we had we had several matches where we scored right towards the end of the third period to get you know get a major or get a tech fall. You know, Austin Gomez, great pin. Dylan Ragason, just great great job, really getting his offense right away, starting us off. So. Um, you know, those matches, I thought, when we were aggressive, we were scoring. Graduate student Sierra Brooks broke the Michigan women's gymnastics all-around record with a score of 39.85 last Friday night at Chrysler against Stanford. Brooks recorded her second perfect 10 on the floor exercise and also claimed the vault and the balance beam. Carly Bauman completed the Michigan event sweep with a win on the uneven bars. The Wolverines traveled to Ohio State on Sunday. The third ranked men's team came through on the final rotation of the high bar to knock off conference foe Illinois at the Windy City Invitational last weekend. The men return home this weekend, Saturday at one o'clock to take on Army. Stepping into swimming, the women and men's teams are ranked 16th and 17th respectively. They host Indiana Friday at noon. The Hoosier women are fifth, the men seventh, so this is a great opportunity. It's senior day for both programs at Canham Natatorium. Saturday, they head to Columbus. Tennis season is underway. The 14th ranked men open the 2024 season Monday against DePaul. After dropping the doubles point, the Wolverines went on to win all six singles matches with number one Gavin Young ranked ninth nationally, winning 6-1, 6-1. It was the first dual match victory for new head coach Sean Mimey since taking over the program back in July. Kind of decent amount of emotions at the beginning, just knowing like, wow, this is kind of a different feel. But um, once the match gets going, once they hit the first ball, then you kind of start focusing in on what you got to do as a coach. And, um, I thought the guys did did great to respond, you know, after after losing the doubles point. But you know, early match, first match of the year, like you kind of expect those things. But yeah, I mean, for me, it's it's great. Happy for the guys to to get a win to start the season and and start getting after it. The fifth ranked women hosted the non-team scoring Michigan Invitational last weekend, but the nasty weather caused a power outage at the Varsity Tennis Center, so many of the matches were moved to nearby Travis Point Country Club. For all the results, check out mgoblue.com. After hosting the non-team scoring Wolverine Invitational last weekend, both the men's and women's track and field teams will compete Saturday at the Simmons Harvey Invite. Action at the gorgeous U of M indoor track building on South Campus begins Saturday morning with the field events. Back to hoops now. Jawan Howard invited his Fab Five teammates into the locker room after Sunday's win over the Buckeyes. Take a listen at some of their words of advice to the current group of Wolverines. Family, always support family. Okay, you see where the real ones are, okay? The real ones come out when things are a little bit rough. Okay? The real ones don't run away. And the real Michigan fans that support this team right here, you're looking at them. Okay? We're going to get tougher and tougher. That's all I'm going to tell y'all. Keep digging and keep grinding. We're going to get tougher and tougher. It ain't how you start, it's how you finish. But we got to get tougher and tougher and hold each other accountable. We can do that every day in practice. Y'all got me? The harder you work in practice, you could go out there and exhibit and have fun. That's what it's yeah. about. Fine tune what you got to fine tune. Make sure y'all click it, right? Almost so when you can turn out the lights and you can feel where each other's at. That's where y'all got to get to. Yeah, and then that's when y'all go out there and have fun. The one thing that made this group special is that when one of us made a mistake, it was like my bad. It wasn't an argument. Mm. That's the difference. Mm. When y'all locked in, 
and I dribble the ball off my foot, and I'm like, dog, not bad. It's over. Or if I try to throw it to see where, when he spin out and throw it to a lob, and I throw it out of bounds, I'm like, my bad. It ain't an argument. Mm -hmm. That's what a family is. And the other thing, we here for y'all. Yes. Texts, emails, DMs, phone calls, on the floor, off the floor, in the classroom, whatever's going on, mm -hmm. we locked in. Yes. Family is little things. Like, family is if I didn't score a point in the first half or something like that, Jawan saw I was frustrated, he might, instead of hitting the jump hook, dunk it down to me and let me get a dunk and it changed my world. Or the fact Jay ain't get a shot and be like, man, I know coach called to play, but when you come off the pick and roll, shoot it. I'm about to hit this right away. You guys got to take care of each other mentally, man. You know what I mean? Y'all know when somebody frustrated when they ain't touching. You know when they've been working, they in that position. And so instead of having the person hurrying and hurrying, they should be able to relax because they know that y'all got them next, that y'all thinking about that. Because when y'all include that player in y'all play, man, you know, it, it pays off later. And so that family to me starts off on the court. You, after you miss shots at the top of the key, still keep going, like, give it to me. That's, that's what hoopers do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what hoopers do. Everybody else shrink in those moments. And y'all, if y'all are together in the room, I'll just say this. The only opinions I ever cared about was these five or whoever's exactly. on the team. What's going to happen for now until the rest of the season? If y'all want to thank us for being here, show us something the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. yeah. Be the dogs you are. Mm -hmm. Show us something the rest of the year. We ain't even judging y'all on what happened before today. Show us the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. My prayer is just y'all stay healthy and that y'all stay together because all these lessons y'all learn on this level, you're going to take them to each and every level of life, whether it's sports, whether it's family, whether it's marriage or whatever. So just proud of y'all effort, and man. We really are here for you. I've never seen y'all five. In my tw I'm 22 years old. This is <laughs> crazy. It's like, like, it was just like, wow. Like, it brought us all together. So like, just like y'all talking right now, like that, this was exactly what we needed to hear. Thank so I just appreciate y'all for coming out because like that was huge for us and we didn't want to let y'all down. Thank We're not going to let y'all down for the rest of the season. Appreciate that. Yo, sometimes it got to be about the group. The team. Sometimes it got to be about somebody else. Mm -hmm. And when y'all feel that way and when you're willing to sacrifice like that, just watch how the blessings just come your way. Mm -hmm. So thank you for having us, Coach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The men are home tonight, Thursday the 18th against number 14, Illinois. And believe it or not, it's their first game against a top 25 team all season long. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time right here on Wolverine Sports Magazine.